best nachos I've ever had, hands down. Get your camera ready because you're gonna want to take a cute photo with it. Offers the largest pizza slices on the Las Vegas Strip. It's like diabetes in a roll. It's kind of a mystery on how to properly eat this. Very good margarita. Yeah. Thank you, robot. Welcome to the next video. Today we have a very special excursion planned for you. Today we're filming crazy, unique, delicious food that you can find in Las Vegas. We'll be eating cotton candy concoctions. We'll be eating one of Ludwig's absolute favorite meals, Eggs Benedict, but like you've never seen Eggs Benedict before. And the craziest milkshake you've seen. Come with me. Our first stop this morning is none other than Eggs Benedict. Breakfast time. Here we come. Yum. So first on the list, we're going to a place called Maxi's, and this is where we're gonna find some crazy concoction of Eggs Benedict. We're actually here in the Link Promenade, which is a really cool area just outside the Link Hotel. It's off the main strip. I highly recommend coming down here for a lot of fun activities and some incredible dining. And you'll have the high roller just here behind me, which is basically the Ferris wheel outside the Link. is a fun and casual diner serving breakfast, lunch and dinner any time of the day. We were here for one main dish on offer, their world famous Benedict box. Now Ludwig has always been a huge fan of Eggs Benedict, so when I saw this place I knew we had to come here. There were a few different Benedict box options. We decided on the California, a brioche loaf filled with spinach, mushroom, onion, avocado and hollandaise sauce topped with poached eggs. We also noticed on the menu were some really fun looking pancakes and french toast. We decided on the fruity pebble french toast, topped with rainbow white chocolate, fruity pebbles, cream cheese and whipped cream. The Benedict box definitely looked super cool, but if we're honest, as far as Benedicts go, the taste was just not there for us. You're not gonna like it. You're joking. No, you're not. You're not gonna like the bread. pretty average. However, this whole concoction is so much fun and you should definitely still try this if you like Eggs Benedict. What was really the winner here for us was the French toast, which even surprised myself because I don't usually care for sweet breakfasts, but this was so tasty. We would definitely get this again. Okay, that was fantastic. I feel full, but I'm not exploding, so that's a great indication we can continue. I'm ready for milkshakes. Next up we are checking out some crazy milkshakes and they might have cake and cookies on the top of them. It's called Black Tap and it's located in the Venetian. Let's go. Black Tap is a fun take on a classic burger joint. I was absolutely obsessed with the vibe in here. Lots of color, funky art and lighting, and great music. Here you'll find good burgers and craft beers, but we came here for just one thing in particular, the crazy shake. The hardest part was choosing one. There was a cinnamon bun shake, a peanut butter M&M shake, a cake shake, but we settled on the cookies and cream Oreo shake. A vanilla frosted rim with crushed Oreos topped with a cookies and cream sandwich, crumbled Oreos, whipped cream, and chocolate drizzle. Phew, what a mouthful. If you order one of these, get your camera ready because you're gonna want to take a cute photo with it. And not only did it look pretty, it tasted fantastic. This shake was so thick, it was almost like a sundae rather than a shake. We had to scoop most of it up with a spoon. The cookie sandwich was on point and the addition of Oreos on the side, ugh, just delicious. This thing was so filling, I don't think we even finished it. milkshake for two people. That thing was extremely filling and not for the dairy intolerant. Okay, next up we are heading to eat some giant pizza slices. It's a place called Pinup Pizza and it's located right here behind me at Planet Hollywood. Ludwig's a little bit full from brunch but I am most definitely not and I always have room for a little bit of bread and a little bit of cheese. Let's go.
Apparently, Pinup Pizza offers the largest pizza slices on the Las Vegas Strip. And as we are both pizza lovers, we could not pass this place up. Pinup Pizza is a small, casual spot located just outside the planet Hollywood. These pizzas are all on display in a glass cabinet, and the server's outfits are inspired by pinup ladies from the 1950s. We opted for a slice of the margarita and the classic cheese pizza. The pizza came out piping hot in these adorable little one-slice pizza boxes, and they had a little patio just outside with countertops, the perfect place for people watching. I don't know why, but I kind of had low expectations for this place. I thought the best part about it would be the crazy size. I'm gonna have to start over this side, it's so big. Mm. It starts from that side. That pressure is so good. Mm. But I was pleasantly surprised. This was so delicious. A solid slice of comfort food right here. And a full meal. It's like a whole pizza in one slice. Yum. Next, we're getting a regular margarita from a not so regular waitress, server, mixer, bartender. bartender? That could do. Let's go. Also located at the Planet Hollywood is the Tipsy Robot, a cocktail bar with a twist. There's a variety of seating here, all with an iPad in which you use to order your drink. There are a few humans lingering around, so don't worry, if you get stuck, there will be someone to help you. The options here are endless, but I settle on my favorite, the margarita. Shortly after we place our order, our new friends get straight to work. these robots have the capacity to create 120 drinks per hour or 1,440 per day. Each cocktail only takes 60 to 90 seconds to make. That is efficient. Next on the list is the most highly anticipated pit stop, for me anyway. We're about to go and taste some nachos. But not just any nachos. We're gonna go and have some nachos that come out of a trash can. Celebrity chef Guy Fieri has a handful of restaurants in Las Vegas. But his newest location, Flavortown, had us most intrigued. This was all because of a certain nacho dish that comes out of a trash can. Guy Fieri's original kitchen bar in The Link also offers these trashy nachos. However, we opted for Flavortown as on this menu in particular, we noticed a very interesting flavor combination. Flavortown is located inside the Horseshoe Hotel, and we loved the atmosphere in here. Casual, spacious, friendly staff, and I always love a good sports bar vibe, even though I don't watch sports. Is that weird? All right, here we have the Pista Resistance, <laughs> Guy's newest cheeseburger nachos. Layered tall with his signature super melty cheese, Russian dressing mixed with his classic donkey sauce, so the lettuce, tomato, onion pickle, and hold the ground beef. Oh my gosh, that looks insane. Oh, oh that was great. Yum! Yeah, thank, thank you so much. So much. Good thing. I hope you both enjoy. Oh, thank you. Okay, you took the first bite, honey. And the reason we came? The cheeseburger trash can nachos. Ground beef, super melty cheese, cheddar, tortilla chips, special sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle, but we held on the ground beef, and voila. I approve. Almost need a fork to like get everything on. To 
surprise, the portion was actually a little smaller than it appeared in photos and videos we've seen. So we honestly could have ordered one of these each, and we wish we did. Ludwig could have had about four. We're almost down to the bottom, and I could eat a whole nother one of these. Could you? This is flavoursome. It really does belong in Flavortown. I'm gonna be really nice and give Ludwig the last chippy. Because you ate the three last ones. Yeah, I know. We don't want to waste any crumb here or any inch of sauce. <laughs> what is the conclusion, Ludwig, on the trash can nachos at Flavortown? Best nachos I've ever had, hands down. Really? Yeah, hands down. That pizza? Insane. So good. My favorite part was the fact that each pizza slice had its own individual little pizza box. How cute was that? Pretty cute. And if you're in Vegas, you absolutely have to go and get a cocktail from the robot cocktail maker. My favorite part was when he was shaking up the cocktail like a bartender. If you want, by the way, the best margarita, Cadillac margarita, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll put it up here on the screen, but if you want the best margarita ever, like I swear, it is absolutely delicious. And comment down below if you actually try it. It's at Gilly's Restaurant Cowboy Bar type of thing at Treasure Island Hotel. Get the Cadillac Margarita. Pretty sure that's what it's called. It's so good. Hands down the best. Okay, very last stop on our crazy food tour here in Vegas is actually outside the Strip. Everything we've had so far has been on the Strip, within walking distance. This one place, however, I thought we could include in the video because it looked particularly interesting and pretty crazy. Welcome to Creamberry, home of the cotton candy burrito. This place was located in a small, unassuming section of shops, right next to a gym in fact. Great post-workout snacks for those guys. Creamberry specializes in ice cream desserts, drinks, and their signature dish, the cotton candy burrito. It's literally a roll of cotton candy filled to the brim of your choice of ice cream, along with three dry toppings. And there's a 10 to 15 minute wait per burrito. While the cotton candy itself is a mix mixture of different flavors. We chose the cookies and cream ice cream flavor and gummy bears, Oreo crumbs, and M&Ms as our toppings. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I could not stop taking videos. And you're definitely gonna wanna share this with someone else. It is so heavy and huge. It was a very strange sensation, biting into thick cotton candy and then sinking my teeth into cold, freezing ice cream. It's kind of a mystery on how to properly eat this. They do offer spoons as well if you prefer to scoop out the ice cream and toppings, which I think I preferred. And this burrito totally took me by surprise. It was so filling. It's like diabetes in a roll. <laughs> We've had our cotton candy burrito. That was a very, very cool idea. It looked interesting, it looked beautiful, but I hated it. I would say that stop was pretty well worth it because it was a pretty crazy thing to eat. Not your normal everyday afternoon snack. What did you think about it, Ludi? Way too much sugar. Probably even too much sugar for the people who like sugar. You can feel a sugar crash coming. <laughs> it's only been five minutes. It's like I've had three Red Bulls. <laughs> so much for watching friends please do click that lovely little thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen to show us you liked this video and comment down below which food or drink you'd like to try most from our crazy little tour don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for next week's video stay tuned